How's it going guys, Marty here, and today I want to do a quick manga haul that I've got. I've accumulated quite a bit of manga over the past few months, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, so I thought I'd just show off what I'd got. And right off the bat I'm going to start off strong. I managed to get my hands on the Demon Slayer Complete Box Set. I am completely in love with this, it is amazing, um, it is just fantastic. You know, the recent Season 2 um, halfway through, just complete the Mugen Train arc it has. Um, this allowed me to read ahead and read the Entertainment District arc, which I did make a video on recently, so please check that out if you're interested in finding out more before the upcoming season. So inside of this, as you can see, we've got lovely artwork this side, lovely bit of artwork on the sides, lovely bit on the back. Just opens up like that, and just inside we have got all the amazing volumes Look how many beautiful volumes there are. And the artwork is incredible for these, honestly. Like, the covers and inside are just amazing. I am, um, um, I used to like Demon Slayer. I thought the anime was cool. Um, and my interest has just peaked so much ever since getting my hands on the manga and reading ahead. It is a fantastic series. So, you know, if you can get your hands on it, it's pretty hard to come by, it's pretty expensive, but it is well worth it. I mean, the quality here is just, amazing. The next thing I managed to pick up was volume one of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind. Um, we seem to be a bit behind in the English translations for these. I think places like France and stuff are already on Stone Ocean, maybe pushing for Steel Ball Run, which is kind of uh, shitty to be honest. Um, and I think the, the delay in these volumes quite a long. I think there's three month gap between each one, so God knows when we're going to get any more. I thought I'd just snap this up. I haven't got Diamond is Unbreakable or finished the last five volumes of Stardust Crusaders yet. Um, I just purely wanted to pick up one because I love Golden Wind and two, manga seems to be selling out quite quickly and then doesn't seem to come back in stock for many, many months. So I thought I'll get ahead and grab it now before by the time I want it, it's probably gonna be out of stock. And these hard covers we got for Jojo are just beautiful. I mean, they are just, absolutely amazing such such good i keep banging on about quality these are honestly just so good i love having manga in hardbacks because there's nothing worse than having a manga that bends and just gets ruined um these things will last an eternity which is great because uh, i love me some jojo and i hope i can read this in many years to come the next big purchase i made i say big purchase it wasn't actually that expensive it was only about 40 pounds which is about 55, 60 USD, I think it is, um, is A Silent Voice, the complete box set. Um, I have never watched the film. I've never read the manga before, but it's very, very popular. Um, and I thought I'd give it a go. I thought it was such a steal at the price that they were offering it. Um, I, I just had to give it a go. And honestly, this artwork is absolutely amazing. I think it is beautiful. Um, nice short series, only seven volumes. So that suits me because I have the attention span of a goldfish. Um, but yeah, if you're a massive fan of Silent Voice, which I know a lot of you are, get your hands on this. This is amazing. It is such a nice, small little box set. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to read it. I will get around to reading it sometime. And then I just wanted to go over the manga that I picked up during the spooky season. Obviously, we are quite a way, a way into uh, November right now, but I haven't done a manga haul video for a while, so I've just been collecting and collecting and collecting. I just wanted to show you the manga I picked up over the spooky season, and that is Volumes 1 and Volumes 3 of Miracle-chan. I'm trying to get my hands on Volume 2. I have got one ordered, but it is delivery date pending, which breaks my heart because I really want it so bad because I love this series. The anime is currently airing. Please watch that. It's such an amazing anime. It's probably it's up there with my top three anime of the season so far. And then I got my hands on this beautiful hardback edition of Junji Ito's Told Me. And this is just beautiful. I read this over Halloween, Halloween night. Very, very spooky stuff, I'm not gonna lie. Beautiful, amazing, gory artwork in this. It's really unlike anything I've read up to this point. Um, obviously, I'm still relatively new to manga, but this is just absolutely mind-blowing. It is a chonky boy, it is a real chonky boy, but it is well worth it. I wasn't bored at any point, so this chonky boy, if anything, didn't feel enough for me. And speaking of chonky, super scary horror manga i also picked up another something else that i recommended in my halloween recommendation video thought i'd give it a go myself 
absolute chonker, but another amazing, great horror story. If you want something to get you scared at night, make you hide under the covers, check out another, uh, this absolutely, another Halloween. I did this just post, um, not post, I did this just pre-Halloween. I read Tommy on Halloween night. This was up, leading up to Halloween. And this really, really got me in the mood, the spooky mood. This was a great read. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this very, very short manga haul video. Obviously, I haven't got that much because a lot of them were very expensive box sets that I picked up. I really hope you like this short video. Make sure you leave a like, sub for more anime and manga content. Check out my TikTok if you want, just purely manga content. And I'll see you next time.